all right kryptonauts welcome back to the channel in today's video i need your help hold on a sec i gotta turn this fan down here's the inline fan in the grow tent here's the variable speed controller right there if you can see it turn that down for now i've got this puppy opened up because i'm looking at my diy rig here you remember this 14 dollar build wood rig i've got i've got uh man i'll tell you i i can i put on here whatever i can get my hands on right I've got three 6600 xts one's the red devil look at that beautiful red devil again i don't care about the lights it looks good at all but i just give me a card that just works you don't have to put all the fluff on it stuff over fluff right a lonely 3060 ti in here sitting all by himself this is like a card this is a man's card you know <laughs> This is a, a miner's card. It has, it's small, it's light. It's giving me 47. What am I looking at here? Oh my God, hold on, stand by, stand by. Where is she? There you go. About 45 mega hash on ETH hash right now. Two fans, it's nice, small form factor. Fits right in there, I got one, one eight pin plug. You know, I got the splitter going to the riser. Nice and clean, nothing fancy. It's, I love it. That's that's the type of GPU I want. Just fits right in there, man. Doesn't take up much space. Doesn't take up much cables and does the job. So now my here here's my dilemma. I've got this guy sitting right here all by himself. 3060 Ti LHR. Eight gigabytes. It's an elite. It's got the uh, I think three fans on this puppy, right? Yeah, look at this guy. This is a beefy 3060 Ti. I, the plan was to, I got this. I, I don't remember getting it because it was so back ordered for like a month. And I get this, I went, oh, I got a 3060 Ti. I don't recall, I don't remember this. Even though Amazon kept sending out emails, right? So I get this, and I go, well, let me just um, look at what they're going for now. And they're hard to get, they're out of stock, and they're going for like, God, 1100 bucks. You know, I think I got it for six, right? At the time, MSRP. And uh, all right, let me sell it on eBay. I posted it, whatever that is, and yeah, there's no bites. And then even after, even if I say for sell it for high nines, right? After eBay fees, I'm getting close down. That's 120 bucks or so in eBay fees shipping if you do free shipping so 150 you're getting down you're only gonna make a couple bucks you might you'll break even plus a couple bucks you know maybe 100 bucks 100 bucks is 100 bucks but is it worth the hassle when i could take this guy i could take this guy right now put him to work put him to work on the wood frame i have a thousand watt power supply evj gold baby gold EVJ gold power supply and I have enough you know I got two risers left I got a slot right there right there I got one one lonely slot one lonely slot I could put the 3060 Ti right here or put it next to its little brother you know move these around whatever uh, again I just want stuff to work I don't care what it looks like uh, that's where I'm at. Do I do that or do I just wait for some eBay buyer to come through and possibly scam me and say they never got it and rip me off or just put that puppy to work? Because the fear is after the one video I did where NVIDIA is doing these back-end deals, giving cards, hundreds and hundreds of cards to these people with these uh, server shops, these professional server buildings in the middle of Utah. <laughs> Am I ever going to be able to get another card again at reasonable price? So that's the dilemma. I was gonna sell this 3060 Ti, hopefully with the money, get some 6600 6, XT's, you know, maybe one and a half 6600 XT cards and put them and make this like a 6600 XT um, rig. So as it stands now, I actually looked and I forgot in my old rig, my, my first rig down here, my gaming rig, there's a 3060 Ti in this boy. And I, I totally forgot about that. So I got one 3060 Ti, two 3060 Ti, and a possibility 3060 Ti. Possibility, and I got enough juice. I got enough juice, and I've got enough 
power here. Let's see. How's the power situation? How are we looking there? I got, I'm trying to look if I have any extra cables just floating here. Negative, negative. I use that one. I've used that one. Yeah, I've used that one. I plugged in that radio and that's the latest one I've added the other day. You guys witnessed that. The 6600 XT Sapphire. I got that through one of those uh, browser alert things. I mentioned in one of my videos coming up or a while ago. I can't remember. It just gives me an alert. And I click on it, the link, manually, not a bot. I click on it. And then, it, bam, it was in stock. One I did one I did that and I paused for like a couple minutes thinking, is this what I wanted to do? And then I went, ah, let me, let me go through and just see. I'll, I'll do a checkout on it. See if I can do that. And I, once I got that far, I said, uh, item has been removed from your cart because they sold out. You wait, you lose. You snooze, you lose. All right, so we do have one VGA slot left. And that should be enough. I'm trying to see what else I got in there. I got, that's something else over there. So I got an eight pin, eight pin VGA slot left. I, I checked my wattage. I got more than enough. Uh, juice left in this boy to run the motherboard and the extra card, the four, the motherboard and the uh, 3060 Ti, if I do it. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. I would like to get the money, the money for it. But now I'm at the point where I'm building up my 3060 Ti stock. I got 63080 Ti's right here. I got three 1660 Supers. I've got now three 3060 Ti's and one, two, three, four 6600 XT. So I'm building up, you see, I'm building up the foundations for cards that are not bad miners, decent miners. And again, a bird in the hand. Because right now there is nothing coming in as far as in stock alerts or anything. It's like stuff I don't want, you know, and they're way overpriced. Sorry about the fan noise. This guy is. This guy is humming along the 3080, got the temps down, using the core clock, the core lock um, T-Rex minor setting. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Sorry, <laughs> a little tangent there. And even if I even if I need more juice, other than this a th this thousand uh, thousand watt puppy EVJ, if we go over here, there's the CPU guys chumming along a Raptorium three uh, Ryzen 9s and then some Ryzen 5s up here. A little warm. Oh, there's another Red Devil. And there's a 3070 all by himself. My only 3070 Ti. And one of the guys watching the video gave me the best tune for this puppy. Gave me like 10 more, I got 57, 58 mega hash now from 40 something, low 40s. And it doesn't uh, crap out or crash on me anymore because I had the settings weren't right, the voltage wasn't right. So, man, it's amazing what you can do when you get decent tuning settings from people. And the ones I got were from an internet and they look right, and but they weren't just quite right. The thing was problematic. Boom, this guy posted. I responded, thanked the, thanked him a lot, and I got man, got like 58, 58 meg hash on this puppy right now. I'm I'm digging it, man. It's awesome. Community is awesome. This is a great community. So anyway, back to the problem. This is my old 760 GTX MSI from 2013. Love this guy. Uh, even though it gives me green bars, this is my maintenance guy. I can plug in an HDMI cable and boot up and see the, see the boot screen, the BIOS, and all that crap. I use him a lot for every new board. This is my backup. This is 750 HP server PSU. So if I do need some extra juice, Ah, I'm waiting on cables. I need a uh, the, the cable to run into the 24030 power strip. That's what I need yet. So you can see my supplies are running down. I got oh, I got one Kingston left. I got two of these Amazon risers, but I am going to switch back to GPU risers. They just seem more like a better quality riser. They just I just like them more. But these work. They haven't failed on me yet. These are the Amazon. I forget what brand. Uh, I got it on my Amazon, but I want to go back to GP risers solely, specifically stay with them and just get another box of them eventually once I need them. Uh, maybe order while they're in stock, right? Because once you need them, they're usually out of stock. Got a couple sticks of memory yet. These are, I can't, 
can't tell what those are. 3200 or 24. I can't tell. It's too damn small. Um, 3200. So I got some memory there. But I want to get more of that CL14 yummy memory for the Raptorium. If you can re see that right there. The Flare X. It's a little out of focus, I guess. All right, so that's where I'm at. I got the splitters. These are parallel minor splitters. I think they're 18 gauge. These are good. I like these, but I do like these a lot. The braided ones, but they're a lot more money. But again, you, you, you get what you pay for, right? So I think as I go on, as, as this hobby continues to grow, I think I definitely want to go with the braided. And they have the black braids as well. You know, the white ones, same price. Um, yeah, right. Got my old 750 bronze. Ours game, A-R-E-S-G-M game. They're cheap, 59 buck power supplies. They work. I'm happy. That's all I need. Just want to get stuff working without going totally broke. So that's where I'm at. What do I do, guys? So I'm 11 minutes in this video. I still don't know if I want to hook this puppy up. But thinking about the uh, GPU shortage, the pricing is going to go through the roof yet. NVIDIA making these secret back-end deals with, uh, with uh, miners. You know, bypassing retailers, and that kind of concerns me. That just getting any kind of card is going to be really difficult. And I know they got a new 3050 Ti they're talking about, I think. Or just 3050, I can't remember. Uh, the laptop one. They're talking about a one coming out for gamers. So I don't know what that's going to do, if that's going to disrupt anything. Uh, eBay prices are ridiculous. So, bird in the hand, right? That's where I'm at. I'm bird in the hand. I'm debating. I got the power. I got the cables. I got the riser. I know I got the space on the motherboard right there. I know how to fix any motherboard issues, BIOS, if it doesn't recognize it. Woo! I got the space in here. The heat's manageable. With the, with the gate open, I'm at 93. The gate, the uh, zipper, the, the, the uh, grow tent door, it's 93. Uh, let's see. What else is going on? Well, that's it. I'm just kind of at that point. Do I just rip this baby open, hook her up, this Elite? It's going to be beefier. It's going to have the three fans, like I said. And it might take two plugs, but I should still be good. I should still be good with the splitter. I need to figure that out first. How many power plugs this thing takes? I bet it takes two. And then the splitter, that could be an issue. Um, I don't want to put too much off one. I used to, I used to like to run one cable out to the... GPU and then the um, if there's more than one power connector like that like here I got one to two which just does the GPU see that this, so this is coming right from the uh, power supply splits out to two and then on the uh, riser power it's on its own dedicated plug just so I don't overwhelm one cable not that I would based on these cards but just good practice for me to split them out. Same with this puppy. Oh, where'd it go? This one, again, only has one input, one power input for the, for the uh, TPU and for the riser. So what I do, I just use this, come in, split, and go to two. And it should be fine. I'm sure that's not melting through the cables. That's why you want the braiding. See that I had this one? That gets a little warm, but not too bad. So I move those down. Yeah, you got to, I can see what, yeah, the braid right there just sold the braiding. Cause look at this, I got these all fanned out on me. Why do they do that? There we go. I don't know why they fanned out on me. Just keep them from touching the GPU as much as possible and blocking any air, airflow. There we go. All right, I just want to, it's always good. I'm just learning now. It's always good to eyeball. It's not the best cable management because I've been moving stuff around and reconfiguring. So I sometimes find if I'm tie wrapping crap, it just becomes, why did I do that? I'm going to eventually reconfigure this. But um, that's the way it is, right? You live and learn. So yeah, tuck these cables. Yeah, look at that. I'm just cleaning things up. I might just buy some more of these braided, these white braided cables. All right, guys. I think they're GPU risers or I got to double check or it might be parallel minor. Parallel Miner or GP Risers is where I got these. God, I wish I knew. I wish I could remember. Um, you know what? Stand by. I am going to check. 
I'm going to check where I got these because I hate mentioning stuff in a video and not giving a definite answer on what these are. All right, I'm stand back. Up. So those are definitely at GPURisers.com. The white braided splitters. They are the 8-pin to dual 8-pin. 6 plus 2 splitter, sleeved extension, and they're like $12.99. Get, I think you get, let's see, let's just do it. We're here, let's do it. Uh, let's see, choose an option. You get one pack. It's in stock. How many do you get? Uh, let's see, you get 8-pin. There they are. Yeah, let's see, one pack, three pack, six pack. Yeah, so if you do one, it's 12 bucks. Duh. All right, get a six pack, 49 bucks. A lot more money than just the regular ones I get from Parallel Minor, but you saw what just happened there. I got, you know, it's touching the back plate and it's kind of on the edge near where the heat is coming out of the, uh, the fins. Back, hey, uh, that 3060 Ti Elite takes an eight and a six pin in. So I was thinking I don't want to run all the power in the PCI off one cable coming out of the uh, EVGA 1000 watt. So this one I have one to two because it has two power connectors, one of the GPU, and I have this one, riser on its own dedicated power line, uh, VGA line coming out of the uh, 1000 watt. Or I might pull that out, put a splitter on it, so I can have this power line coming out and split between the two risers for this 6600 and the riser for the 3060 Ti if I plug it in. Leave this configuration alone, it'll be just like then. This will be just like on the 3060 Ti, have it come out, split the two. This one here, instead of going right to that car, will come out, split to the two risers. That way there won't be much draw on that cable and then I'm not overloading the one by having the power of the GPU and the riser. So that's one way I'm thinking of power management if I hook this up. So that satisfies my last question on should I hook this up or can I hook this 3060T up? Again, I got the cables, got the riser, got the power, and I got the time. <laughs> and I'm already running an older, like a different model 3060Ti, and it's working. So I'm just going to plug that new one, if I do it, into the T-Rex minor. And these three AMDs, 6600s, are running on MB minor. So two different minors are running on the same rig, software minors. Yeah. All right. I just need uh, to think about it if I want to rip that box open and not sell it on eBay. I'm probably not going to sell it because I hate eBay. <laughs> All right. I'm out.